What's the chance that there's going to be a big guy coming out from there? Hello, my geeky guys, guys. Welcome back to cryostasis. Why are we back in the kitchen? In this. Oh. Wait. I lost all track. Am I supposed to be back here? I ain't sure, you know. Well, let's try because we've got all the weapons in here, so something big's going to happen. That I do know. Big guy. Do we be a big guy? Nope. Another weapon ammo thingy over there. Something's going to happen, though, at least. That I do know. I'm sure I really do think we must be coming towards the end of the game now. But I've been saying that for the past few videos and it just keeps on going. It's like the gaming version of Duracell batteries. It just keeps on going and going and going and going. Not to say that the game is fun, but there's still far too much action for, it's, for me to consider it a horror game. Anywho, story time. I'm not going to bore you with it, though. Okay, dokes. We have their back. Now, is something going to happen now? Apart from the warmy, glowy things, all the ovens have come on. Any big guys? All the meat's cooking. There's rustlers up some. Ah! Fuck me! Jeebums! Bitch! Dude, I'm cooking your fucking crusty laughing meal, whatever it's called. Surely you want cooked meat, not raw meat. Good grief. Well, that's what's gonna happen then. Dogs are just gonna come out of nowhere. That, that those ribs there are looking that like really tender. Why? Can, oh, wait, can I heat up? I can heat up on those, of course. Maximum health. Uh, Dolga. Get down, Rex. Alright, yeah. Okay, I'm a, I'm a ready, I'm a ready. Yeah. Come on, come on, brother. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn, bitch. And just heal up all the bullet wounds going through the heat. It's good that I get some maximum heat like that as well. It's really spooky at first to find out what was happening in the game as to why you're here. I mean, I th if I do recall, it'd be like something about being um, a private investigator or something like that. Trying to investigate what happened to this ship and it caused you to be part of here. That's what I still think might have believed as to what's happened. If I can English properly, but... You know me, I can never do that. Look at all the ammo! Something big's definitely gonna happen here. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Come on, die, thank you. Absolute... Perfect. Oh, Mothman. No, no, no. Oh, fuck off. Oh, reload that bitch. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, hell. You go die now, please. Good, good. What about you? Yeah, you're still alive. Not now. Uh, let's take that. Uh, let's take that. Well, good now, homie. Ah, oh, there's a big guy over there. Uh, we use that is not fair, man. Bringing up the bench things to protect you. And what have I got to protect me? Nothing. All I got is guns. Lots of guns. I prefer the other room better. 
the actual kitchen area because I'm better heat source in there. Okay, I'll take you. But I ain't gonna use you just yet. This is what I'm saying. I bought this because it was supposed to be like a really, really good horror game. It's more action horror than anything else. And what I was kind of hoping really for the channel is not only playing good games, but playing bad games as well. But all strictly within the horror realm. And horror survival, or survival horror, whichever you want to call it, that's the best one where you feel helpless that... You're there in this situation and there is an antagonist somewhere that wants to murder your face off. Really rather than a gruesome way, most probably. And you've got to find your way out. Now, there are some which is like really, really basic with the most stupidly ass basic plot you could ever imagine. You're in a maze and you got to get out. <coughs> 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 And so for me, really, it's just like, you see so many of them now, and it's just like, kind of boring. So, a lot of the times I do just pass them up, but some of them you still... Okay, well I guess I ain't heating up from that then. But some of them are just like, you know, you've seen it all once before already. And some of them are not even that good. And the worst part about it is... Knowing a game is going to be boring and then going into it and finding out that it's boring. I don't really think makes for a good video, so... A lot of the horror games where it's just like... You just got to escape from the maze. Oh, wow. Super 8's been through there. Just bashing everything out of the way. Yeah, once you've seen the same kind of tropes all the time, I must admit it's like... Oh! Hi! I can probably say my boo laps with you. Come on. Can you... Ouchie! Uh, can I just chop you up please first? Can I chop you up? Thank you. Long time since I've had to come across a broser. Look, I've still got no ammo for this. Is that a moth, man? Is that a moth who I can hear? Okay. Well, I've learnt one mechanic that in a heated area, your health does go up slowly up to the point of that health, uh, heat part. So I'm going to cut it out, but I'm staying here because I don't know what's going to be up ahead. Now, it's only been a couple of minutes, but that's do that's high enough, I think. I hope. Oh. Okay. That'll do, actually. That'll very well do. I knew it, I heard something. Come on, Joseph. Don't you be jumping out of my way. Come on, I got all these my little friends for you. Say hello to my little friends. Will you stop clinker clankering in there please, Broseph? I'll come to you soon enough. All these enemies, you know, are just so keen to come and meet my little friends. Hang on. Oh, okay. Yeah, long time since I've come across you. No. I'm going to actually use you. Tom Brini, come on, there we go. Yeah, A down. Because damn, that fire glow stick of his, dead ain't no good. Uh, oh. Ah! Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. But something's going to drop down. I know it. A Mothman's man's going to drop down, I think. You are now green. Oh, look at all the health coming up. Yeah, this time on, I am actually... Actually, you know what? I'm going to save. I keep forgetting about these games with manual save points. So don't use them as often as they should be. And yeah, I know that it's got auto saves at level transitions, but... Uh, who knows? Especially when you've got health as low as this. 
you might come across an enemy which is normally easy to get past and they're just gonna wipe the floor with you more exposition great kill back in now it's just more exposition of how fuck off chair more exposition of how we came across to be in this situation or at least the crew did anyway Great, so I'll turn the red light green. I'm I thinking then that that's now blocked off. No. Alright. Oh, Heedy. It's a Heedy McSaucy here. Oh, you're giving me plenty of heat. Okay. And ding. Popped out already. What's the chance that there's going to be a big guy coming out from there? I'm just going to get myself ready, just in case. Hello? There's a Thomas gun in there, so yeah, something else is going to happen. Oka smokers. Down with ghosts. Or maybe up instead. We'll, we'll go up. I've changed my mind. I want to go up. Gotta get out of this place. This is a slow elevator. Something's gonna happen. And that wasn't a level transition, but there was a save. Ow! Come on, die. Thank you. Another one. Hey! La 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 la. I like you very much. I cha la la la. I think you're great. I cha la la la. I do not know what to say. Oh, wow. You, you little son of a bitch. Down. Come on. Down you go. Thank you, Jack. See, so now you're green. So what switch did you pull then, huh? You know that secret switch in your pennies that can remote control locked doors and everything? I want technology like that. I mean, this is 1940s or something. I don't have that kind of remote control technology. Ooh. It's a chills in here. Uh, yeah. Marfa. Okay. This is where the fishes were stored. I'm gonna go straight through like there's nothing there. I mean, I'll come back and roast you up later once I've got some bread to go with you. And I'll make some breadcrumbs out of it, mash them together, make some fish sticks. Nice. Ah, door. Got it. Door. And in doubt, door your way out. And we're saved again. Okay. I'm going to do my own manual save here, actually, as well. So at least I've got to know a time stamp. So know when I last saved the game. And so... We're still on the poison level. Anywho, my geek guys and girls, I am ending the video here. If you've played it, let me know how much further there is. Don't tell me what the plot is. Don't tell me what I'm coming, going to be coming up against. But I would just like, really like to know. Firstly, if I can stop hiccuping during recording. But secondly, as well, I'd just like to know how much further there is left in this game. But apart from that... Yeah, the horn is well and truly gone with all the guns and the action happening. Still got a good few shocks happening here and there. Probably said that in pre countless other videos as well now, but there's not really much more I can say about this game. Story-wise, the story is going pretty strong. Still a lot of mystery to find out. What happened to this crew? It's probably going to keep that teetering on right until the very end. Is the captain going to be the final boss? Is it just going to be like... Wanting to kill me out of sheer um, depression of what's happened. I don't know. It's going to be fun to find out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, my geeky guys and gals. If you liked it, smack the like button. If you didn't, smack the dislike button. But if you do dislike, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what I can do to improve the video just for you. And as always, if you want to know when the next video is coming out, smack the subscribe button down there. And I'll see you in the next video. So bye-bye.
for now. Hey. But you do have a Tom Tom gun. It's good how Woods managed to save me. You fuck off. Nah, nah. Nah, I'm just gonna punch your lights out. Because that fucking gun is shite. Let's yes, have a look at the other doorways then, see if any of do. Alright, never mind, let's just jump straight through here. Huh. Yeah, sorry if uh, I burst out your eardrums there with that little outro there. I didn't realise I was so close to the microphone until the big massive spikes showed up on the Audacity. That's fun.